Welcome to another special edition of Spartan TV News. I'm Cameron with today's highlights from day two of Mini Master 2014. Before Monday even started, five out of the country Mini Masters have already begun their adventures over the weekend. Our London Mini Master, one of the five, have already seen a Harry Potter Museum, a Wax Museum, the Tower of London, and the London Eye. And over in Washington, D.C., students visited Mount Vernon and other historic sites. Meanwhile, in yoga, holistic health, and consciousness, students learn the basics of yoga and push themselves and their bodies in ways never imagined. And if you keep your eye out, you can see the running room passing by. Now let's drop in on our friends in nearby mini messages and see how they're doing. Our producer Jordan checked in on Mr. Hutzko's mini message to check out what the students are doing at chess. The Spartan Chess Mini Master gives students the experience of a lifetime. During this mini master, students will learn how to play chess at a higher level and how to get better at chess tactics and strategies. The goal of this mini master is to help chess players get better, whether they're experienced or not. So it's really helping a lot of newer chess players learn more about chess, um, how to get better at chess no matter what your level. I plan to better my chess uh, playing level and learn new tactics and how to defeat my opponent. We have a big tournament coming up in a few months, the state championship, and I want to be as prepared as I possibly can to do well in the tournament. The best part of this mini master is playing with my friends and uh, just enjoying myself. Chess teaches you to be uh, respectful and uh, thoughtful to your opponents. It teaches you not to be rude. You have to uh, show proper etiquette or else you may get disqualified, so I thought I would use the lessons it teaches me on how to interact with other people. Checkmate. I never thought of chess that way. Our second story takes place with a choir. Let's join Miss Kelly and see how our future singers sound. to give it a shot to try to do an acapella group and it has always worked out well. This year we only have four people so I was like oh I don't know if we should do it but then I looked at who the four people are and they're awesome and they're all really good singers. So tell me a little something about your mini master. Well um when I was in college, I was in an acapella group, and I always really liked it, and I always kind of wanted to get something going here at Miami Country Day School, but everybody's involved in so many things and so many activities that we really never got it together. I chose this mini master because I love music. Because I love singing, and I think it's really cool how all the voices together can make a harmony. I heard acapella, and I got really excited, and I was like, oh, okay, yay! And what is some of the music that you chose out for your group? Well, mostly the kids chose songs, so we're doing some things from Paramore, some songs from Florence and the Machine, uh, be looking for a Britney Spears section. We've only been at it for about three hours so far, and it's probably one of the best groups we've ever had because everyone works together well, they learn their part, and they just sing it, so it's awesome. I would like to have you know, some of the all-stars from last year and the year before join us and make a great acapella group. Thanks, Isabella, for your report. And thank you for joining us on the second day of Mini Master 2014. Join us tomorrow for more updates on the travels and adventures of Miami Country Day School students. I'm Kevin for Spartan TV News. See you tomorrow.